Now we're checking out the centuries-old tradition of historical European martial arts. It's better known as fencing, and that's what Pauline Lee is doing this morning. She's all suited up. Hi, Pauline. Oh, Rachel, this is the part of the morning that I've been waiting so long to do. So, I've got my gear on. It's really not needed when you start fencing. I just think it's really cool, so why not? Katie, one of the assistant instructors, is here. I'm ready. So, Katie, what do we do first? Okay, we're going to start with the basic press drill. This is the foundation of everything we do. So, okay. what we do is we get in our combat stance, so right. our legs kind of spread, nice and stable. We cross our swords. So, all we're doing is we're keeping our swords connected and we're learning how to use leverage with these. So, as we start, yep, and we're going to be moving our feet. There you go. Oh. And as we get more advanced in this, we're going to kind of try to focus on our partner and not the sword, which is hard to do. I'm looking at you. You can't see me, but I, I am looking at you, Katie. <laughs> and that's perfect. This is exactly what we start with. Now, what does this teach you when you're first starting out learning how to fence? So this is teaching us all about how to use the sword. It's double-edged. We can use it with leverage. So how to work these angles and come in for an attack. Oh. How someone who's a little weaker can beat someone who's a little stronger. All those kind of basic principles. Now, this is kind of something that you always practice on. What else would you learn after this? Well, after we've progressed from press drill, mm -hmm. we move into something that our girls over here are doing. It's called the master cuts. Okay. We have five master cuts. Again, fundamentals. This is what we practice every practice. So they're just going through the drills. So there's five cuts, and they're all aiming towards the head? Yes. Always towards the head. We train that way. You gotta think medieval times. They're training to kill. So that's right. what we're targeting. We just learned the press cut. How how close, how quickly would you learn go from press cut to you know cuts? This would be in a matter of a couple practices. And of course we heard all the the swords over here. How long would it take to learn this kind of fighting that these guys are doing? These guys have been at this for quite a few months. We don't start at this level, and it's going to start with the fencer's comfort. So we'll start with the synthetic swords, and then eventually move into the steel when they're ready. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. I just want to look at them. They just look really cool. So then you always have to reset afterwards, Yep. I'm guessing. So how we initiate the match is they do a salute, they raise the sword to their mask, and that's signaling to both of them we're ready, we can begin. Oh. So if people want to learn, I'm guessing it's, it's for all body types. It's for men, it's for women, boys, girls. Anyone can really do it. Absolutely. We've got kids classes, we have adults classes, and we kind of have the whole gambit in between. So. All right, thanks, Katie. If you want to learn more about the Wisconsin Historical Fencing Association, just head to our website, fox11online.com. These guys are getting ready for a competition later this week. We're going to check out what goes into a duel, winning a duel, coming up next. It's interesting stuff. Thanks, Pauline.